In this video, we will learn how to set up and run an AdCirc model with an SMS. In a previous video, we learned how to set up and generate a mesh using a size function. You'll need to have a mesh to run AdCirc, so feel free to check out that video. Let's go ahead and open our project. In order to make AdCirc run more efficiently, we'll renumber our mesh nodes. In the mesh module, click on the Select Node String tool from the Dynamic Toolbar. Click on the ocean boundary, select Node Strings from the top menu, then Renumber. Later on, we'll set up title forcing in the model. To do so, we must have a node string that defines where title forcing can be applied. Right click on the ocean boundary node string, select Assign BC, and verify that the boundary type is set to Ocean and title constituents is under the boundary condition in the upper right. In order to run the AdCirc model, we must first make sure that the data is in geographic coordinates. Select Edit from the menu, then Reprojection. If the model is not in geographic coordinates already, specify the coordinate system the data is currently in under Current Projection on the left. Then set the new projection to geographic on the right. Click OK. This step is only necessary if the data isn't already in geographic coordinates. Now we are ready to establish some of the model parameters. From the top menu, select Add Circ, then Model Control. On the General tab, let's name our project and enter a run ID. In the Terms area, turn on Finite Amplitude Terms, Wetting and Drying, Advective Terms, and time derivative terms. We will leave everything else as the defaults. Next, click on the timing tab. Let's change the ramp function value to one day. This is the duration the model will take to move from no circulation to full tidal amplitude. Change the time step to two seconds and the run time to 1.5 days. We choose 1.5 days so we can go a bit longer than the ramp time. In reality, this will be a few days to a month, but for this example, we'll just set the model to one full title cycle. Next, select the Files tab. In the Output Files created by AdCirc area at the bottom, we can choose what output files we want the model to generate. Let's choose Elevation Time Series Global and Velocity Time Series Global by clicking on their corresponding boxes in the output column. Let's also set the start date to 1, the end date to 1.5, and the frequency to 30 minutes for both the elevation and velocity time series output files. Now we need to set up the tidal harmonics. Before you can do this, you need to make sure that you have the Le Provost database, which is available to download at aquaveo.com. Select the Title and Harmonics tab. Next, click the boxes to enable forcing and potential constituents. Click New, and now we will apply the Le Provost title constituents to our model. Each constituent is used to model title patterns at varying locations. Let's select the K1, M2, N2, O1, and S2 constituents. Click OK. Now save the project. We are now ready to run the model. Go to the AdCirc menu and select Run AdCirc. Since the model will take some time to run, we'll skip ahead to view our results. When AdCirc completes, you will now have the output files that you specified in the Files tab of the AdCirc model control. In our case, it will be the 4.63 and 4.64 for elevation time series and velocity time series. Go to File, Open, and open these two files. We can then select the output data sets in the Project Explorer to visualize them in SMS.